Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. Okay. I got them again, guys. Don't you scowl at me. I did it. I got them again. Uh, poured John a sample last night, and he tested it out. I just came from work. So we're going to see what he got out of it this night and today. He's been sipping on it a little bit to taste it out. So what do we have? I've been, having, I've been having a lot of trouble with it. Okay. Uh, I visited last night. I wrote down some notes. Um, I just wasn't getting much, so I came back to it about a half hour ago. Got a couple more things, but I'm not. It's, I know, it's a tough one. He's got little two line sentences, not paragraphs on this one, so we'll see. So on the nose, I do like it. Um, I get strong that vanilla right good. at first. I smell it. A soft butterscotch. A little bit of oak. It lingers on your nose. It's. That brings it down a little bit. It just doesn't fit with the, the smell. It's got quite a bit of alcohol on it, too. Okay. Uh, I get peanut butter, but like powdered peanut butter. That makes me gag. I smelt it before, but I don't know what it, I don't even know what it's used for. But that's what uh, it smells like. Baking. 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 Uh, unless you're my grandmother and like the taste of chalk. Well. You. I remember when she'd mix it up in a cup. Ugh. Just buy it in a jar, Granny. That's gross. I also get a little chocolate syrup on it, which I like in that. Oh, mm. that sounds good to me. I give it a, a four. Uh, it's a good smell. I'd give it that. The oak and the alcohol. It smells really good. Just kind of bring it down a little bit. So, this is the interesting. Uh, peanut butter definitely comes through, and it's not a sweet peanut butter. It's just a, a dry... Peanut butter flavor? Yeah. It's I like unsweetened it. Reese's. It's just... Yum. It's not a sweet bourbon or whiskey at all. Uh, you get a pretty big rye bite. medium to high amount of alcohol okay it sits in the back when maybe it's not rye but i think i do believe there's a little bit of rye back there because it, it burns and the alcohol just stays back there and it gives you a pretty good hug it's kind of perfumey so i've been going between five and six i ended up with six I feel like that's fair. That's a tough one. Uh, I had five, and then I went 5.5, .5, then I went six. So the finish has a pretty big bite on the back end. Is it a rye bite or alcohol bite? I, I think it's both. Think? Both? Okay. It fades to like an oaky char, but the peanut butter taste stays all the way through, so I'm probably a high malted barley, I'm hoping. I don't know much about this one, so uh, I'm relying on your noggin. But I'm pretty sure you do, so I think we'll be okay. I give it a 2.5 out of 5 on the finish. Very middle of the road. No, that's I could have gone like a half a point lower in the palette and finish. But there's something about it. I don't know. I'm going to go a half a point lower on the palette and finish. I'm going to go 5.5 .5 on the palette and 2 on the finish. It's average, maybe a l mm. Taste is average. Finish is a little bit below average. Okay. How about the color? It's kind of pretty. So, it's got a nice color. 
now that I'm in the light, it doesn't look like reddish amber that I had written down. It's more of like gold, like a darker gold. Uh, it, the legs are weird. So it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick very well. It kind of beads up, and then below that, it does thick legs. It does have nice legs. So it's kind of weird. It's not sticky like most of them. I think I'm gonna judge. I put 2.25 down on the color, but it's a little, it's not as dark as I thought it was being out here in the light. So I'll judge that in the bottle. It's pretty dark. Is it? Mm -hmm. So my guess is 95 to 100 proof. Um, it it tastes like Jack Daniels esque. No. So you got it's me not. again. What is it? So we bought this bottle because it was whiskey of the year and we found one. So we were super excited. Uh, it's not that I've good. I've been struggling with this one. So, so you finally got it out. I kept I finally, guessing it. I know. I finally didn't guess it and then you give it to me. Yeah. So this is McKenna. Um, this particular one was whiskey of the year last year. This year and last year? This year and last year. Um, so it is a single barrel. It, it's I'm pretty sure too. I got a bad barrel. Um, I don't see McKenna being this bad. It has a lot of hype around it, so I'm going to pick up another bottle soon and I'm going to try it. Um, I've been very open that this is just average to me. Well, this one... Was that right? It what? says it was barreled on 825.08. So that means it was bottled on 825 of 18. It's oh, 19. Good. It's a 10 year whiskey. I didn't put one and two together. Sorry about your luck, guys. I don't know the mash bill of this. It is 100 proof bottled in bond for the price. I have been skipping over it. And then we found one and we decided let's guide it. And we aren't impressed with it yet. But, as you guys know with, you know, some other barrels and some other bottles and stuff that we've done, you can get bad ones. So, we're going to chop this one up there. got a bad Eagle Rare that I haven't edited the video yet because I'm waiting for her to give me another sample of Eagle Rare out of the fifth, not the pint. It's so. crazy. Once he gets that one out, you guys will see. But it's just tragically different <laughs> between the pint that I have and the fifth that we bought and oh yeah but we'll get there um okay so thoughts bottle I don't like the bottle I don't either uh the it, label's pretty it cool it has handwritten label oh man this is the toughest whiskey I've critiqued so far color is nice it still has it got that reddish nice. tint that I was thinking it does have a very nice color to it. So I'll keep the color at 2.25. Uh, the bottle, I'm going to give a 1. That's fair. That brings it to 59. I already forgot. Yes. 59. So it's 14.25. Let me know if you had a bad bottle of this because I'm, I'm kind of surprised on it. Well, well, like you said, we, we're always open to, I mean, single barrels, sometimes you get bad barrels, so we're always open to buying another one and trying it out and see what happens. Um, luckily, with Eagle Rare, instance, we had another bottle here, so we popped I've that one up and it was way better. I've never had a bad Eagle Rare, so that kind of surprised me. Um, so we got the mash bill on this. It's 75% corn, 13 rye, and 12 barley. Which is... So the rye's not as high as I would think it was going on the finish, so it's more of an alcohol, the 100 proof. 12% um, barley is pretty high for barley. Only a couple that are really that high. Yeah. Old Elk's like 35, but that one goes well together. Yeah, that one meshes well. So nuttiness on this one is no surprise for me. Yeah, that's true. It's now, interesting. I said Jack Daniels esque because I usually get banana, or most people usually get banana on Jack Daniels, and I did not get that. Well, there's your answer. Just to give, not me a, Jack Daniels. give me a little credibility. A little bit. We'll see. But I'm sorry. I rated it this bad. Um, 
we'll I'll try it find, again. Yeah. Once we get another bottle, we'll do it again and see what happens. But we'll make sure it's not barrel 5633. <laughs> if anyone has that barrel and date, message me. I want to know how you feel about it. Or if you want to trade samples of McKenna, I will gladly trade you a sample of this for a sample of yours and we can compare. Truth. Be interesting. All right. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.